Hi, everybody. My name is Deb Samuel with Medtronic Diabetes in Canada, and it is my pleasure to welcome you to a new education support series put together to help you adjust to living well with diabetes during times of change in our healthcare delivery model, of course, due to COVID-19. Together, Medtronic and your healthcare teams are fully committed to helping you get the most out of your remote appointments. This video will assist you to be well prepared for those uh, remote appointments with your team so that you can continue to work together to optimize your health, well being, and your outcomes and goals. A couple of things. These videos were created for information and educational purposes only. It's very important that you understand that the content was not intended to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or management. We would encourage you to always seek the advice of your physician or other qualified health providers with any questions you may have regarding your medical condition. In this video, I'm going to assist you with where to find the CareLink personal resources referred to in this video and available to you. I'll show you how to sign up for a CareLink personal account, and then of course how to sign into that CareLink personal account, how to install the uploader software necessary to upload your data, and then of course how to upload your pump. This is the CareLink personal software support page. It can be found on our Medtronic Canada website. You simply go to www.medtronicdiabetes.ca, click on the support tab, then on product support, and finally on CareLink software to arrive at the page you see on your screen. You will see links to registering to CareLink personal, information about computer systems and compatibility, all of the resources referred to in this video about downloading and installing the CareLink uploader software and uh, resources about how to upload your pump and some helpful tips as well. And right from our support page, you can access a button to log in to your account or you can type directly into your address bar carelink.minimed.eu. When you arrive at the landing page for CareLink Personal, you'll want to ensure that the country and language are yours of preference, in our case, Canada and English or French. Once you've ensured this, click on the Continue button, or if this is your first time, which I'm assuming it is for our purposes today, we're going to click on Create an Account. There are steps to signing up for a CareLink account. First, you will want to select the account type. In your case, to upload your insulin pump, you'll want to select patient. Step one is to review and consent to the consent agreements. There are two types of consents, all of which are engaged to protect your privacy and your health information. The first three are mandatory in order to use the CareLink software. The last five are optional, meaning that you don't have to choose yes in your consent in order to use the software. Please review these carefully, although they can be changed at any point in time, and I'll show you where to do that next. Then you're going to complete the enrollment form, creating a username and a password, and then filling out all of your personal information. All of this can be changed at any point in time later on when you sign into your CareLink. Once you've completed the enrollment form, please press submit to continue. You will receive an enrollment complete, like what's on your screen, and then you can continue to log in. So again, in order to log in now, you will want to ensure that the country and language are yours of preference. Click continue to enter your username and password. And this is what your homepage will look like once you've been admitted. If you click on the drop down beside your username in the upper right hand corner of your page, you will find your profile information 
This is where you can change your password at any point in time. Your consent agreements, those can be adapted as you wish. And I'm going to ask you to click on the preferences tab so that we can make sure that your reports are customized for your lifestyle. Under your preferences, there are a lot of parameters that you can adjust that will match your personal lifestyle and your goals. Please ensure you look through these um, thoroughly. And one of the useful things that you can do is customize. So for example, if you were working shift work and your overnight um, is not typical, you might want to adjust the report so that they reflect more broadly what your lifestyle looks like. You'll also want to ensure that the glucose target is set to, from 3.9 to 10 to more accurately represent time and range. This is the default, I'm pretty sure. Once you have completed your preferences, please click on update in order to store them so that your reports will always be customized to your needs. Once you've done this, you are ready to install the uploader software. You'll see on your home page how to install the uploader. If you click on this, you will arrive at the place where you can download the uploader software. I'll just quickly refer you to the CareLink Quick Reference Guide available on our support page that I talked to you about at the beginning of this video. It will walk you through each of the screens that you will see in order to assist you with these processes. So you can click on Download CareLink Uploader Installer and it'll walk you through all the prompts necessary. Now, if ever you ran into any problems uh, with this process, you can always call the Medtronic helpline at 1-800-284-4416. Representatives are available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to assist you, and they're standing by should you have any problems. Once you have installed the uploader software, you are ready to upload your pump. So you will click on the button you see here, Upload Now. At this point in time, you'll need your pump and the glucometer that is linked to your pump. We want to ensure that your contour next link meter is paired to your current pump and you can check this under your utilities menu. If your link meter is not connected to your pump, please refer to the system user guide to pair the two before proceeding. Again, you have access to the PDF resource, the quick reference guide that I referred you to at the beginning of this video, which will walk you through all of the steps to upload your pump. Once your pump is uploaded, you will return to your home page. In the top left hand corner, you should see home reports and connect and I will have you click on the reports tab in order to see all of the reports that you can generate. Once you've done this, you will arrive at what you see on your screen where you can select the reporting period of data that you want to view. You have options for seven days, 14 days, 30 days, or you can select a custom range by clicking on the calendar icon. And here are all of the reports that you have available to you. There is no need to view all of the reports and we all will prefer to see our data presented in one way or another. If you'd like more information about what is presented in each of the reports, click on the information icon to get a detailed summary of what is included in that report. Once you have a report that you prefer to look at, you can make it a favorite by clicking on the star next to the report name. The next time you sign in, you can choose to select your favorites in order to generate those reports that you've already chosen. Here are the six reports that are available to you and most commonly used. And again, each of us will prefer to see our data presented differently. Start with one or two reports. And then once you know what you're looking for, it'll be much easier to orient you to the different reports available. In the next two videos in our series, I will walk you through how to read uh, reports pertaining to pump data only 
And then in the third video, I will review with you how to look at CGM and AutoMode data reports. This is the Yes I Can framework, which is a worksheet that can help you orient yourself to the reports and also help you prepare for your remote appointment. The idea behind the framework is very simple. Our first step is to identify all of the positive things and all of the effort that we've been putting into living well with diabetes over the last couple of weeks or months. Then we want to identify any issues, concerns, or things we have questions about, patterns that we've noted that we might not know what to do about. Then with our healthcare team, we can determine the causes of those patterns we've seen and come up with an action plan together in order to mitigate and achieve our goals. Here is the worksheet portion of that sheet that's available to you, which will help you jot down all of those positives. And I really do encourage you to take the time to do this. It's a very solution focused approach to diabetes care, and it helps to identify the things that are going well and what we might do more of in order to achieve our goals. The next step would be to jot down any patterns you're seeing with regards to hyperglycemia or hypoglycemia, any concerns you have or things you're just not really sure about that you want to discuss with your healthcare team. And if you came to your appointment prepared with just step one and two, your team will be so happy to help you with insights around the causes and then to develop an action plan for the next little while. I want to take a moment to thank you for joining me today, and I hope it's been helpful for you. I also hope that your families are staying well and safe. Please do check out the next two videos in our CareLink series to learn how to read your reports and how to apply the Yes I Can principle so that you are well informed and ready to go. Let's face it, you are the expert in your own body, and if you bring the information and the insights that you have to the table, your healthcare team will be better able to help you come up with your plan of action to live well and to continue to meet your goals.